Welcome back to the series of Tech House and Deep House Baselines. Now in this video we are going to take a look at the classic Tech House Baseline. This is the baseline that uh, accompanies those tracks that are really percussion heavy and where there's rather less of any melodic inst um, instances in the track. Now this is how it sounds like without anything, just the kick and the baseline. All right, you get the gist. It's basically that repeated all over again, all the time. Let's take a look at the melody here. I'm going to uh, loop this and um, I've soloed our bass line and this is what the bass line without the kick sounds like. Now, if I remove our side chain here, we got this. And what it is, it's basically, if we look at the grid here, uh, I've selected 16th notes and um, we just use 3 16th and repeat them for one bar and make them shorter again. So uh, there's distinct, uh, there, those are distinctive notes and it's not uh, one continuous note. And we're going to copy this over four times. Oh, made a mistake there because there's um, one eighth note of a pause here. And we got it's a real simple uh, rhythm and that's all there is to it in most of the cases you won't need any key changes and um, you're just going to use a relatively deep note for this because it's more like a percussion knee type sound more like a second bass drum that has less of a high end and more of this um, vibration and energy that makes the whole club go um, vibrating um, now, um, to actually create the sound, we don't need much. Now I'm going to disable anything we got here on this track and I'm going to delete our operator and load it back in. So we got it, um, just a sine wave here, I'm going to solo it, bring the volume up a little bit. Now that's pretty good and, um, that's basically almost everything we need. The only thing we want is uh, to add a little bit of punch. So I'm going to uh, use the pitch envelope here. Now here the decay time is way too long. So I'm going to bring that down. And we want a little bit more attack. That should suffice. Now let's bring up um, this level of the second um, oscillator here just to introduce some harmonics because uh, if we look at it here and this is going to show you the spectrum we just got the perfect sine wave and that's great in anything but um, nobody will hear anything unless they have a really good system so let's bring it up a little bit now you can see here and here uh, um, some harmonics and this is around the 100 Hertz range this is around the 200 Hertz range range and um, this is around the range where most of those um, cheap little Apple uh, ear pods and stuff like that um, start to work and uh, really get the the frequency with you and uh, after 200 Hertz most laptop speakers will um, be able to um, actually play the sound. We're going to saturate it a little bit. I have to bring down the volume. Probably blown your ears by now. No, we don't want it that much. Now you can see there's a lot of harmonics here. Um, and they are just there. So people who don't have the graded system can actually hear anything. Because for everyone else, it'd be just like um, complete silence. We could actually emulate that if we just bring a low pass. This is what a um, laptop speaker um, guy would probably hear. Now, all right, the next thing we got to do is basically um, add a compressor in here. And that's just um, side chaining the old thing to the kick. So. Um, the low frequencies of the kick and the um, 
how to call the bass don't uh, clash with each other and the next thing we gotta do is bring down this one we can bring up this one again all right now uh, let's hear it with the kick We actually have a little bit too much harmonics in here. Yeah, okay. I guess that's better. And that's it. There's our bass line. Now, the next thing we will be taking a look at is this bass line. Space lines you can hear in the background now um, in the next few videos in this series. Now, um, this is the end for this video, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. 